Paul in Ephesians 5.23, a verse that you will be read for in almost every wedding ceremony, he says, the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church and the savior of the body. 2,000 years ago, the head was just fine. How do I know? The head had sense enough with Simon helping him. Jesus had sense enough to turn to the women and tell them, do not cry for me. But instead, weep for yourselves and for your children. The head was okay. The head was sensible enough to cry to the father and say, forgive them. Because when the thief on the right turned and pleaded for a chance in salvation, a dying savior stopped dying so that he could save a dying thief. What let Jesus down was his physical body and the body of believers. 2,000 years later, friends, Jesus is lying down on modern Roman roads. On one hand, the forces of modern Rome have assailed him. And on the other side, a wrong spiritual form and a church that is a cluster stands on the side filled with too much importance to help Jesus. Atheism, materialism, worldliness seems to be bearing Jesus on the road. And the question is being asked again, who will help Jesus? Assailed by the forces of Rome, betrayed by a church that is lukewarm. Who will show his character in the world? Who will vindicate his truth both by preaching it and living it? The answer I get is cross bearers. Bear the cross, don't wear it. Bear it though they abuse you. Bear it though they throw things at you. Bear it though friends should leave you. Bear it all the way to Golgotha. Bear it because this work will need people of no less caliber than cross bearers.